H Green writes, hey guys, awesome show. Would it be unrealistic to cross universes by taking by taking Jason Statham's transporter character and placing it into Fast and Furious 7? I love this question. Mm -hmm. um, in principle, there's a couple of answers to this. Let's start with the first one. In principle, I don't have a problem actually with the idea of taking a character from one movie if there's no big continuity issues and then dropping them into another film. And something like what you're proposing sounds kind of cool. However, there are two very big problems. The first big problem is that Jason Statham is a hero in The Transporter, and from all reports, he is going to be the villain in Fast and the Furious 7. So that kind of disqualifies it in general. But the other thing that disqualifies your uh, theory, your idea, uh, which I like very much, mm -hmm. is the fact that The Transporter is owned by Fox, and uh, Fast and the Furious is owned by Universal. So much like the whole Spider-Man in the Avengers kind of issue, where it's, own, it's two characters owned by two different studios couldn't happen. So despite the fact that he's a good guy in one and a bad guy in the other, he's owned by one studio in one and another studio in another. So unfortunately, we won't be able to see that happen. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.